Hello there, my name is Greg Sherman and I am the flesh and blood instructor for this online version of EDUC 603 Evaluation of Student Learning. I wanted to take just a few minutes with a short video today to kind of walk you through the course website and orient you to some of the information that is going to be provided for you within the website. Some of you have probably taken online courses before, um, and if you have through Radford University, you more than likely had your course administered through the D2L learning management system. And I do things a little bit differently. I try to make things a little more user-friendly than some of those more mechanical systems. So that is the nature of this Google website that I'm going to be kind of giving you a tour today. So let's just take a look then at the course website here. Um, this is the main homepage. You are provided with a link in the course syllabus to the homepage. And every week I will be putting um, new and different announcements on the homepage. And those announcements will give you the directions for how to proceed um, specifically throughout the week. Um, and just to let you know, if you ever want to view previous week's announcements, you just have to click on the view more button. And right now I only have one posted. So um, that's, uh, but that's how you can view previous week's announcements. You can always get back to the current announcement by clicking on the home button. We have some general course information posted. And this is the basic syllabus information. I have a link at the bottom of the page to a copy of the course syllabus. Also, um, uh, kind of pulled out of the course syllabus are the course objectives on its own page. This is a very important page because it presents specifically the outcomes that are going to be measured on the two course exams and also the course projects. We have a calendar of events, and this calendar includes what the assignments are for the week as well as what is due. And in general, um, everything is due in the class on Sunday evening at midnight. Um, whenever we have an exam, I will make it available on a Friday and you will have from Friday through Sunday to complete it. So if you don't want to ruin a perfectly good weekend by um, taking an exam, by having to take an exam um, during the weekend, please try to finish that on Friday. Um, I also want to point out, though, that the very last time or due date for any 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 assignment in class is going to be a Friday, and that's December 9th. So all final projects will be due then, um, and we will not be having a final final cumulative exam during exam week. The course will be over with on December 9th. Um, I do want to also point out, though, on the calendar page that sometimes due dates shift and that will likely happen during the course, depending on how things go. If that happens, I will send you an email and I will update this page, this calendar right here. We have a lecture support um, page here. This is a menu of short videos that I've prepared that address some of the salient or important information in some of the course chapters. Along with the information in the videos, I will be providing you with some notes on how to connect what it is you're learning about in the course text with things that you're going to be tested on or things that will be ap applied in the course project. On the course notes page, um, I include a link, first of all, to the very first chapter of the course text in case it takes you more than the next coming week to procure your book. So far, it looks like the Radford University Bookstore has the cheapest option for the course text. I also have course notes files um, here. Those notes are aligned with all of the outcomes for the course. I have an important guide for developing assessment items that you will be using throughout the course projects. And it also includes some information that will be tested on. And I have some practice exams as well. Those are really important to take. I have the, the answer keys separate because you want to try to take those exams without looking at the answers first to sort of gauge your, your own progress and your own areas of strengths and needs. I have a sample project um, number two on here. Um, I don't have a sample project number three because I am changing that project from previous semesters and it's a big project and it has not been, been posted yet. 
Um, but speaking of projects, all the information, or I should say links to the information for the three different course projects are available from the project info tab. And as you can tell that we have a project number one and a project number two. And project number three is in the process of being revised right now. Um, so um, just suffice to say, you will be developing an assessment, implementing it, collecting data, and analyzing the data for project number three. I just haven't put the parameters of the project um, um, up yet. I'm still waiting to hear from some possible, um, possible clients that we'll be working with. You will be doing an online assessment, however, and you'll be using Qualtrics, which is a free um, assessment tool through the university, and I have a link to some to to that on the course website. Um, I have a, also a link to the D2L site. That's where you can uh, take the course exams, look at your grades, and also it includes Dropbox for you to submit um, your course projects. So, and you'll be doing that in D2L. And um, and and by the way, the the final course project might not be in Qualtrics. I have a link up there now. As I mentioned, Qualtrics is an online assessment tool. Um, it depends on what the clients need, um, but right now it looks like it's going to be an online assessment that you're going to be actually developing and implementing. And finally, a very important button on the course website is the course blog. And when you click on that, it takes you to our course blogger site. And this week, week one, you have two blog posts to respond to. One of them is just an introduction that you are um, um, going to uh, review. And then the other uh, blog post is an article that you're going to read and then kind of respond to some questions that I ask about it. And hopefully reading other student responses and reflecting on what they have to write. So that is the course website and the course blog. I look forward to working with you this semester. And as I mentioned, I will be sending you an email every week to let you know that the course website has been updated, but uh, it is the, the main course home is where you want to be um, to get directions on a weekly basis. So anyway, I look forward to working with you and I hope you have a great semester.